Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is super exciting because it's one of my favourite collabs to do ever and it's a collab with my beautiful friend and soul sister Anki. Anki actually got me into the Build Your Own palettes. I'm sure you've heard this many times that I've mentioned it. Um, Anki is just one of the sweetest, most lovely people. She's been such an amazing friend to me and I absolutely adore her. I love her to pieces. And yeah, we've been friends a long time now. And yeah, guys, if you don't know who Anki is, please, please, please go check her out. You are gonna absolutely love her. She is the queen of Build Your Own Palettes. She does the most beautiful, really colorful, amazing looks. She is all color and just amazingly talented. And like I said, the queen of Build Your Own Palettes. I will have popped pictures of Anki up around so you can see just how incredibly talented she is and oh yeah I love her to pieces um so we decided well Anki actually reached out to me and asked did I want to do a Christmas build your own palette collab and of course I said yes because these are one of my favorite collabs to do ever it's so much fun so today my beauties I will be creating my Christmas build your own palette I have a theme in mind my theme is snow fairy um I don't know why it just pulled me in and that's what I wanted to do um so I do have some colors in mind and I will be using this palette which holds 12 singles so I will be making a 12 pan palette so if you would like to see how I got to the point of creating the palette and see what my colour story is then just keep on watching. Okay so I think I'm going with a snow fairy theme that's yeah that's what I really want to do so I've picked out I'm looking at more purples pinks blues more like bluey greens or tealy greens um but yes yeah, so I've got the mattes here first and I've got the, the kind of purples and pink together and so I'll start with the pink. So this one here is from Terra Moons Cosmetics. It is Utopia. I absolutely adore this shade. So I'm going to pop that here. It is such a beautiful pink shade. I love that. Um, okay. And then I'm going to go with the lighter ones first. So this shade is also from Terra Moons Cosmetics. This is Ascension. And uh, so Ascension and I will pop that right next to that one there. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm trying to keep in my mind Snow Fairy. I'm looking at these. Uh, the next shade I have is from, I've got dog hair attached to it, Glam Shop Poland. This is Petunia. And I'm going to pop that right next to that there. Ooh, very pretty shades. Very pretty shades. Um, okay, what's next? This is from Colourpop. And this is called Eris. Again, I've got a dog hair attached to it. That's wonderful. And I am going to pop that there. Ooh, they are some really beautiful, beautiful shades. Ooh, we do have one more lighter shade. So this is from Lethal Cosmetics. It's the shade Altitude. And I'm going to pop that below there oh I forget how much I love this shade it's so pretty okay now we're going to go in with some of the darker ones or well, should I actually maybe I should pick out from this first no I'm going to swatch the swatch them all first okay so the next shade I have is from Menagerie Cosmetics this is Iron Grip so that there and I'm gonna swatch that there it's such a beautiful shade gorgeous let's move these up a bit okay 
Okay. Ooh, that looks so pretty already. Um, this one is from Lethal Cosmetics. It's from one of those six pan palettes. I cannot remember the name of this. Um, but yes, it's from one of those six pan palettes that they did. And I pop that there. It's such a stunning shade. I do love that. And then we have from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka. This is shade 040. And I'm thinking this is from the Chinchilla palette, I think. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, this is going to be a really tough one. A really tough one. Okay, next up from Makeup Geek, we have Duchess. No, I'm going to swatch that here. Again, another absolutely stunning shade. Ooh. And then we have Deceit from Lethal Cosmetics. Now, I know this one doesn't swatch as well as it performs on the eyes, but it is stunning. Oh, it swatched a bit better this time. I wonder what I've done different. Who knows? Um, but it performs amazing on the eyes anyways. Um, so yes, that is that. And then finally for this section we have Royal by Terra Moons Cosmetics. And I am going to swatch that there. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, this is super, super tough. I'm thinking I definitely want to bring that pink in and that purple. And this, I think those three, and then maybe this shade here, or this one, no. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, Utopia from Terra Moons Cosmetics, which is this one here, and pop that aside. And I'm also going to take um, Colourpop Eris pop that to the side i'm going to take 040 from sigil inspired by tammy chanuka and pop that aside and royal by terra moons pop that aside do i want to pop any of the others in oh i'm unsure i don't know oh maybe i will pop Ascension from Terra Moons Cosmetics. That's this one here. Pop that in and then pop the others out to the side. Okay, so that is our pink and purple matte shades done. Okay, so I think I'm going to do like the blues and the greens together um, just because there's less, less of these. <laughs> um, so first up, I'm going to be swatching Lethal Cosmetics Yonder, which is this shade here here which is absolutely absolutely stunning Let's watch that there oh how beautiful is that shade okay so that is that one then we have honeydew from sydney grace cosmetics i'm not sure if this one's going to be a bit too green green but it is beautiful look at that Okay, and then from Sample Beauty, we have Pansy, it's beautiful blue, pop that there, that is a gorgeous shade, gorgeous, and then from Terra Moons Cosmetics, we have Carnival, and I'm going to swatch that there cat hair on my hand as well cat hair dog hair one or the other um oh that is so pretty then we have flounder from ladybug glow cosmetics this is from the murky waters palette i was, i'm very fortunate to have these in the single form and it's a matte with some sparkle but i think that's quite relevant to snow fairy a bit of sparkle get rid of the dog hair and then last but not least, we have Insomnia from Lethal Cosmetics. 
This is another one that doesn't tend to swatch as good as it works on the eyes. Although I appear to be having better luck today. Okay, so these are the other mattes. Oh crikey, how do I choose? I think definitely these two and this one. Possibly that. Oh crikey. Um well this is tough, isn't it? Oof. Um hmm. I think I am going to take okay, so I'm gonna take Yonder from Lethal Cosmetics. That's this one here. Um I'm going to pop the Sample Beauty Pansy over there. Um, I definitely want this one in Flounder from Ladybug Glow. And then do I want to pop... I'm going to pop Insomnia in the Maybe part also. Is that it? Yep. Hmm. I think I am actually going to pop Carnival from Terramines Cosmetics in the maybe pile as well okay so that's our mattes done i didn't have anywhere near as many mattes as shimmers but that's nothing new this is me okay so i'm gonna get my hand cleaned up and then we will start on the shimmers okay so we are going with the blue shimmers i'm gonna start with the lighter ones i think yeah so First up we have Frosty, this is from SMB Beauty, it's a UK indie brand and I'm going to pop that there, oh look at that shade, that is stunning, definitely very icy, icy winter wonderland, I'll just put that over my knee so that I can clean my finger, that is stunning. Okay, and then we have um, from Lethal Cosmetics from their Roots palette. This is Talisman. Oh. And I'm going to pop that right next to it. Oh, well, look at those two shades together. Don't they look pretty? Ooh. Okay, then we have from Cleona Cosmetics, Snowdrift. I adore this shade. I think this has been used quite a few times in my build room palettes. It is stunning. Look at that. That's a real icy, icy blue. Then we have Chill from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. It's another UK indie brand. And this is more of your iridescent inner corner or over a matte shade. It is stunning. Look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, then we have also from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. This is Filthy Rich. And I'm going to swatch that there. Oh, look at that. So pretty. So pretty. And then we have Blazing Star from Lethal Cosmetics is one of my newer shades so this hasn't been used yet just swatched for a reel that is pretty Look at that. okay wow how am i going to choose then we have ascension from lethal cosmetics and put that there beautiful blue okay I've not made this easy for myself, have I? Um, then we have Neptune. This is from SMB Beauty. And I'm going to pop that there. Oh, it's such a stunning shade. I do have to say, these shimmers from SMB Beauty are great for more uh, mature eyes, they don't crease or anything um but they are more of a put it on with your finger kind of shade but look at those wow 
Okay, two more. So we have from Cleona Cosmetics, we have Spire, which is one of the jeweled multi-chromes. And I'm going to swatch that here. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm just getting blue eyeshadow everywhere. Not that I'm complaining because it's so pretty. And then from Ladybug Glow, we have Murky Waters, which is from the Murky Waters palette. But I, th oh, look at that. Okay. Okay. How are we going to choose? Oh, wow. Um,. Okay, so I'm really wanting to take Beauty Moon Cosmetics Filthy Rich, this one here. And, oh, I can't choose between the two S&B Beauty ones. So we've got Neptune, which is this one. Please excuse all the cat and dog hairs everywhere. And then Frosty, which is this one. Um, oh, gosh. Do I want to take... I'm going to go with Murky Waters from Ladybug Glow. And are there any others I want to pop in? Oh, crikey. I'm going to put Blazing Star from Lethal Cosmetics in the maybe. And then move the others out of the way. So we have picked for the maybe pile Ladybug Glow Murky Waters. Lethal Cosmetics Blazing Star. S&B Beauty Neptune, S&B Beauty Frosty, and Beauty Moon Cosmetics Filthy Rich. Okay, let's clean up my hand and then we'll move on with the next. Okay, so next we are going in with the more purpley shimmers. So first up we have Glam Shop Poland, one of the Turbo Pigments. This is Badass. This is one of my newer shades. And I'm going to swatch that one here. Oh, it's pretty. That is pretty. And then we have Cleona Cosmetics Calx. And I love this shade. This is one I absolutely adore. Look at that. It is stunning. Okay. And then we have blueberry this is from the pastel roses uk and i'm going to pop that here oh, that is so 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 pretty i've said that a lot haven't i this is it's beautiful stunning gorgeous love and then we have glam shop poland one of the turbo pigments this is hummingbird and so let's pop Hummingbird up here. Look at that. So pretty. I do love the Glam Shop Turbo Pigments. They're stunning. Okay. Then we have, again from Glam Shop Poland, this is another one of the Turbo Pigments. This one is Aurora. And again, this is an app. Absolutely stunning shade. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I didn't make this easy for myself at all. And then from Glam Shop Poland again, one of the marble eyeshadows. This is Tarot. Again, this is another stunning, stunning shade. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to find this extremely difficult to choose. <laughs> then we have from Cleona Cosmetics, Rosette, which is one of the jeweled multi-chromes. And pop that there. Oh. They're so smooth, these. I do love them. Look at that. Wow. Okay, then from Popping Glow, which is a UK indie brand, we have Dancing Queen. This is such a stunning, stunning shade. Look at that. That is so pretty. 
and that's another one that goes really nicely over top of a mat as well but equally on its own is stunning then we have flourish from lethal cosmetics another one of my newer newer shadows and i'm gonna pop that there actually i know it's an awkward place but just to make sure i can fit all the others on okay it's so pretty and then we have from popping glow we have juicy blueberry it's another absolutely stunning shade look at that oh that's so pretty and then only two more to go in this section so this one is from lethal cosmetics it's the shade twilight and this is what she looks like absolutely gorgeous and then the final one for this section is also from lethal cosmetics this is nox and another one of my newer shadows okay well this is not easy okay how am i going to do this I think I'm going to take Dancing Queen from Pop and Glow and pop that aside. And what's this one? Also from Pop and Glow, Juicy Blueberry. That's this one here. I'm thinking Cleona Cosmetics Calcs. That's this one. Do I want to add any of the others? Do I? Do I? Do I? I'm not so sure. Oh, crikey. Hmm. Okay, this is tough. Tough, tough. I think I'm going to take the Pastel Roses Blueberry, which is this one here. Okay, I think that is, yep, that's it for that section. So I'm going to move them out, clean up my hand, and then we will move on to the next lot of shimmers. Okay, let's move these in. So the next lot of shimmers are the pinks. So the first one up is from Davina Cosmetics. This is Pixie Sticks and an absolutely stunning, stunning shade. Look at that. That's so pretty. Oh, wow. And then we have from Glam Shop Poland, another one of the Turbo Pigments. This is Babe. And this is one of my newer ones. So I haven't used this yet. Oh, look at that. That's a really nice icy pink. Oh, okay. Then we have Parsec from Lethal Cosmetics. This is going to be super, super tough. Oh, look at that. It's got that really nice green shift to it. I do love that. Oh, crikey. And then we have from Beauty Moon Cosmetics, Sweet Dreams. And that is going to go up here. That is a really beautiful kind of icy inner corner. And over the top of a matte shade, look at that. Beautiful. Crikey. This is not going to be easy. Then we have from Cleona Cosmetics UV. I absolutely adore this shade. And I think I've just taken way too much. I should really have been in with the purples but look at that that is stunning then we have from beauty moon cosmetics periwinkle and i'm gonna put periwinkle there oh look at that that is so beautiful 
oh, I really have not made this easy for myself at all. And then from SMB Beauty, we have Love Potion. And pop that there. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, how pretty my hands looking. Um, then we have from the Pastel Roses UK, along with a dog hair or a cat hair. Uh, this is the shade Lychee. I adore this too. Look at that. I think that one might not be quite what I'm looking for for this palette, but look at that, it's so pretty. Then we have from Lethal Cosmetics, Heather. It's another one of my newer shades. Pop that there. That is gorgeous. And then also from Lethal Cosmetics, Pioneer. Again, another one of my newer shades. So some of my newer shadows are getting an outing today. Oh, wow. How on earth am I going to choose between these? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, Steph, come on. Pull yourself together. I think I am going to pick these two. So that is Glam Shop Poland in the shade Babe. And what are you? Periwinkle from Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And then... Crikey, what do I want to do? Um, do I want to pick any of the others? <sighs> Crikey, this is so tough. This is so tough. No, I think... I think... Okay, no, I am also going to pop Heather from Lethal Cosmetics in the maybe pile and then pop the others aside. And then we will move on to the last, the last section of shimmers, which is kind of the greens and tealy greens. So I'm going to get my hand cleaned off and then we will get those swatched. Okay, so the final round of shimmers. First up from S&B Beauty, we have Comets. So fitting for this time of year as well isn't it for the theming um so there is comet that is such a gorgeous shade beautiful then we have from lethal cosmetics aerial and i'm going to pop that next to that it's gorgeous oh, so pretty then we have from Terra Moons Cosmetics Eon. This is one of my favourite shades. I adore this. Beautiful. And then from Cleona Cosmetics, we have Lineage. Which is stunning. Oh. Oh. I think that's a firm contender. And then from Terra Moon Cosmetics, we have Moon Mist. Which I've taken way too much of on my finger. It's okay. I forget that you, know, you need to touch in that one a little bit. <sighs> okay, look at that. That is so pretty. Then we have from Popping Glow Beach Bod. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Look at that. So metallic. That is gorgeous. I do love the kind of blue to green shift in that. So beautiful. Then we have Venom from Lethal Cosmetics. In case you hadn't noticed, I do have a lot of Lethal Cosmetics singles. Um, I do adore them. That is gorgeous. Okay, then from Popping Glow, we have Blew Me Away, 
which is my favourite shadow from Popping Glow and probably one of my favourites in my collection. Look at that, kind of sea green to purple. So pretty, so, so pretty. And then we have from Ladybug Glow, we have Merman. This is from the Murky Waters palette. And oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my word. And then also from Ladybug Glow from the Murky Waters palette, we have Atlantis which is another stunner, which I think is very similar to Blew Me Away. Very, very similar. I think slightly more purple, but yeah, very similar. Beautiful. And then finally we have from Beauty Moon Cosmetics, we have Alien. And I'm going to pop that there. Oh, look at those shades. How am I going to choose? How am I going to choose? This is so tough. I'm thinking definitely Cleona Cosmetics Lineage. Um, This one up here. And then, oh, crikey. What do I go with between those two? Oh, seriously, Steph, this is so tough. I think because it's more greeny, I'm going to go with Blew Me Away from Popping Glow. Oh, do I want any more of these? Oh, and then what's this? Do I want Beach Bod? I think that's too green. Oh, any more of these? No, I think. I think maybe oh gosh do I do I I'm gonna pop in the Eon by Terra Moons this one here and then am I gonna leave it at that am I gonna leave it at that oh crikey where's that maybe two Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, the icy green. No, okay. I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to pop these aside. I'm going to get my hand cleaned up. And then we are going to go through the maybes. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so I think I've decided on... The shades that I want in here. So I've got 040 from Sigil Inspired by Tammy Tanuka and Ladybug Glow Flounder. They're definite yes. Um, I want Popping Glow's Blew Me Away. Um, Uh, Carnival from Terra Moons Cosmetics. Okay, yes, that is looking good. Um, I think um, Beauty Moon Cosmetics Periwinkle. Oh, that does look pretty. Um, Popping Glow's Juicy Blueberry. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, then I'm going to... Want to put this one or this one? I'm gonna go with Eris from ColourPop. I like how this is looking. Then Royal from Terra Moons Cosmetics. Um. Babe from Glam Shop Poland. I know it looks quite similar to that. It doesn't look as similar. Let me just check them on the... No, they are. They're different enough. Yeah. Okay. And then... 
Blazing Star from Lethal Cosmetics. Ascension from Terra Moons and Blueberry from the Pastel Roses UK. Oh, okay. I do, I love how that's looking. Am I happy with that? I would say yes. What do you guys think? I'm, yeah. Okay, guys, so this, I need to open it, is my finished Snow Fairy palette. I am in love with it. It's some of my favorite color combinations in here, and I'm so, so happy that this is the color story that I put together. I cannot wait to create looks with it. Um, I hadn't used it for this look. This look, I actually used the um, Nomad Cosmetics, the Ghost Towns USA palette. Everything I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. But yes, this is my Snow Fairy Build Your Own palette, my Christmas palette. Um, Oh, I cannot wait to see what Anki's palette looks like. Um, I know it's going to be amazing because she is the queen of build your own palettes and she has the most amazing singles collection ever. I am so incredibly jealous of her singles collection. It is beautiful. Um, but yes, so this is part one. Part two of our collab, we will be creating two looks using our build your own palette, build your own palette collab palettes using our palettes that we created. Um, I cannot wait to create looks with this. I think, oh, it's gonna look amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, if you wanna see two looks with this palette, please make sure you are subscribed and you've hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you when I upload that video. And Anki, thank you so, so much for reaching out to me to collab again. I am... Um, I'm always honoured to collab with you. These collabs are so much fun. I love playing with my singles. I love creating palettes. You introduced me to that, so thank you so much. I, I'm i just, yeah. I have so much fun doing it. I love creating colour stories. It's just fun, fun, fun. <laughs> um, yeah, Anki, thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what your palette looks like and I cannot wait for part two where we create the looks. So yeah, guys, if you are new, if you've come over from Anki's channel, if you've just found my channel, hi, welcome, I'm Steph. I love colourful makeup. I love indie brands. I just love to have fun with makeup. Um, yep. And also if you enjoy my content, then, and you're not new, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy Anki's content because she's super, super talented and super amazing. Her channel will be linked in the description box below. Please head over and subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff because she deserves it. She is amazing and I love her so very much. Um, but yeah, for all of you returning, thank you so much for hanging out with me again and joining me to build this palette. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.